नमस्कार आचार्य जी माय नेम इज अभिषेक यादव आई वाज डूइंग एमटेक फ्रॉम आईटीपी एंड रिसेंटली आई हैव जॉइंड आपा एटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर एज अ ट्रेनिंग साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर सो एज यू मेंशनड अबाउट वी आर लूजिंग द टाइम टू दैट व्हाट बॉदर्स मी एंड इन रिलेशन टू आई वांट टू आस्क इन रिलेशन टू द करियर Uh, so uh, i am facing this conflict uh, uh, whether to continue my, continue my job or not because the uh, earlier what uh, reasons i had to, for the job was money and position in the society but it is no longer uh, the reasons which is why i am finding it difficult to continue the job i find uh, psychological problems are more uh, important to be resolved but at the same time uh, i am facing this uh, uh, dilemma of uh, public opinion uh, what if i lose if i lose the job should i sir uh, continue with the job and uh, find find uh, purpose because these things are acting as a obstacle i am finding it as career uh, uh, by continuing uh, by being occupied with the job most of the time uh, i might i am losing the time when you are serious about victory you do not strike at the enemy without being fully prepared hmm? those who just plunge themselves into battles without having checked their preparedness are the ones who don't love victory too much right don't underestimate maya there was a reason you got into your current job public opinion money prestige and all that have you so fully changed that these things won't matter to you anymore at all no so maya smiles even as you contemplate your resignation and such things she smiles or she knows that you are not fully prepared in the inner sense so you will resign and then regret the decision because you have just not thought of the consequences when you are to fight maya you have to use all your resources especially thought think of what you are going to do next and don't overestimate yourself know that you still have a desire for social sanction and money and such things so if you resign from here have you prepared an adequate and a better option or do you just want to hop on to the road and become a job seeker and later on curse spirituality and that happens with so many people you know in a moment of excitement in a spiritual fit they put in their papers and then the entire life they keep cursing all the spiritual teachers and the books entire spirituality itself no oh, i tried <coughs> to be a rebel a spiritual activist and i did this and see i am facing the consequences even till date so be prepared for her recoil she doesn't let her prey escape so easily caught in the web of corporate job as you say you are her prey if you make a half hearted attempt to escape you will only hurt yourself such attempts should not be made at all till the moment you know that you will definitely succeed or at least you have a very strong probability of success so look for something that offers you a purposeful workplace huh? where your job entails doing something more fulfilling and also a place 
that offers you at least average kind of decent money because you are not a realized saint or something a small paycheck will make you feel small and then all spirituality will disappear you have to be very practical in these things hmm? so figure it out before you take the leap yes, so so it's just that so the it, what bothers me is the time is running out so that was troubles me i'm not I'm not able to concentrate in my job as well i fully well understand there is something pushing you to quit your job i i appreciate that but i also know the power of man's inner tendencies that's what i'm calling as maya hmm? today because you have a decent paycheck therefore you are thinking of job fulfillment and self actualization and such things it is because you already have decent money coming every month the day that paycheck disappears all your noble intentions will at will be at the risk of disappearance hmm? so if you think time is running out then act swiftly swiftly you figure out a better alternative but without having a better alternative if you blindly jump into the unknown chances are you will not be able to take the suffering and the consequences hmm? i repeat because this battle is important and because this battle must be won therefore one must not make rash decisions you get it if you want to hit a 6 you don't attempt that on every ball do you you wait to get settled and you wait for the baller to make mistakes at least some mistake hmm? so you have all these things in your calculation and then the moment comes when you lash out that is if you are serious about winning the match if you just want to have your 2 seconds of bravado then you can do anything dance at the ball slog miss clean bowled i'm not discouraging you right i just want you to be adequately prepared because <coughs> in youthful idealism one rushes into decisions without being able to sustain them whatever you do must be sustainable are you getting it so Yes. take a little bit of time prepare yourself well figure out options gather knowledge do some research so that the next place you go to is indeed better than the current one if you just keep hopping without discretion how do you know that the next place will not be equally bad or worse hmm Yes, sir. So I'm getting your point. It's just that I'm not uh, finding a valid reason to continue with the job, like money or position. So maybe I have to figure out what I have to do with the money. Yes, obviously. See, you are the best judge. Obviously, if you think that you are in an inner position to just discard the money and other things right now, this moment, 
then put in your papers this moment. Hmm? But mostly it does not happen. So I am speaking from a generic point. I have seen a lot of youngsters make idealistic decisions and later regret them. I don't want that to be repeated again. Hmm? But if you feel you are prepared, take the plunge. Bravo. So this thing I am prepared for the public opinion. I have to be prepared for that. Ha, so prepare yourself well. Do your inner exercises.